Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about electric current. Now, if I am talking about electric current, the first thing which comes in our mind is our electrical appliances. The appliances which we use in our day-to-day -day life, that is refrigerator, that is our iron, that is our toaster, that is our mixer grinder. If I am talking about electric current, the first thing which comes in our mind is our electrical appliances. Now, if the first thing comes in our mind is our electrical appliances use our electric current. The second thing which comes in our mind is electric current is a flow. Now, if I am talking about a flow, let us take another example. Here, the example of flow is our waterfall. Here, flow, water is flowing, our water is flowing from one point to another point. So, this current is called as our water current. But we have to learn about our electric current. So, let us learn our electric current in a more scientific manner. Now, talking about electric current, electric current to understand this, I have taken a sphere filled with my positive charge. So, I have taken a sphere having my positive charge. After that, I have taken another sphere having negative charge. So, if I can say, if I can see, I am getting a positive charge on my green color sphere and I am getting a negative charge on my red color sphere. Now, we all know that current always flows from positive to negative. So, current is flowing from positive to negative. Here, our red sphere is having excess of electrons. Our green sphere is having a deficiency of electrons. Red sphere ke paas electrons bahut zyada hai. Green sphere ke paas electron bahut kam hai. Matlab, electron is going to flow from red sphere to green sphere. So, the flow of electron will be from red to green. So, if I am going to say current, current is flowing from my positive sphere to my negative sphere and my electrons are flowing from my negative sphere to my positive sphere. So, this is the convention of flow of current. Now, let us understand our electric current, the definition of electric current. The definition of electric current says us the rate of flow of charge. Now, rate of flow of charge means if I am talking about rate, rate means time means when charge is flowing, when our negative charge is flowing, it is consuming some amount of time. So, rate of flow of charge is called as our electric current. Now, our charge is flowing from where our charge is flowing? Our charge is flowing through our conductor. So, our definition modifies to our electric current can be defined as the rate of flow of charge through a conductor. Now, the second point tells us the current which is independent of time. एक ऐसा करंट जो टाइम के ऊपर डिपेंड ही नहीं करता, उस करंट को हम लोग बोलते हैं हम लोग का स्टेडी इलेक्ट्रिक करंट। So the first thing we have learned, current is the rate of flow of charge per unit time through a conductor is called as electric current. The electric current which is independent of time is called as our steady current. Now after this, the basic formula of our electric current is I is equal to Q upon T which is equal to any upon T. Now understanding the first equation I is equal to Q upon T that is charge upon time. So current is rate of flow of charge. The second formula is saying I is equal to any upon T where N is nothing but the number of electrons E is our charge on each electron upon T is our time. So, our two basic formula of current is I is equal to Q upon T and I is equal to Ne upon T. Now, after learning the formula of our current, let us proceed to the unit of current. Now, if I am going to classify my unit, I am going to study two types of unit. The first type of unit will be my SI unit. So, pehla system ho gaya, that is SI system. The second system which I have is a CGS system. Now, the SI in SI system, the unit of current is ampere and in CGS system, the unit of current is stat ampere. So, if I am going to classify my units of current, pehla kaun sa rega? SI unit, dusa kaun sa rega? CGS unit. SI unit kya hai? Ampere. CGS unit kya hai? Stat ampere. Now, after learning the unit of our current, let us see the dimension of our current. The dimension of our current is M0, L0, T0, A raised to 1. That is the basic dimension of our current. From the entire learning, we conclude that current is a 
scalar quantity. So in the entire slide, what we have learned, the first thing we have learned is electric current is rate of flow of charge through Cassie flow and through a conductor. So the second point was the electric current which is independent of time is called as my steady current. The third thing was the our formula that is I is equal to Q upon T, I is equal to Ne upon T. Fourth thing that is our units that is SI unit and CGS unit. SI unit is ampere, CGS unit is stacked ampere. After that our dimension, dimension is M0, L0, T0, A raised to 1. After that, we have concluded that current is a scalar quantity. Now, after this, let us classify our current. If I am going to classify my electric current, my electric current will be classified into two types. The first type of current will be my alternating current, that is my AC current. And the second type of current will be my DC current. So, pella type of electric current ho gaya AC, dusa type ho gaya that is DC. Now, if I am going to classify or if I am going to define my AC current, my AC current will be defined as, as a current whose magnitude as well as direction changes with respect to time. एक ऐसा करंट जिसका टाइम के साथ साथ मैग्नीट्यूड मैग्नीट्यूड का मतलब वैल्यू एज वेल एज वेल एज डायरेक्शन टाइम के साथ चेंज हो रहा है उस करंट को मैं बोलूंगा अल्टरनेटिंग करंट मतलब क्या अल्टरनेटिंग करंट कैन बी शोन बाय योर साइनोसोइडल वेव दैट इज साइन वेव पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव मतलब टाइम के रिस्पेक्ट में इसका मैग्नीट्यूड भी चेंज हो रहा है प्लस डायरेक्शन भी चेंज हो रहा है such type of current is called as our alternating current the second type of current is direct current now direct current can be defined as it is a current whose magnitude changes with time but direction remains constant मतलब एक ऐसा current जिसका time के साथ साथ क्या change हो रहा है magnitude लेकिन direction क्या है उसका fix that is a straight line so this type of current is called as our direct current I hope you have understood this session. If you like our session, do subscribe and like our video. Thank you.